Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And in today's video, I'm going to be creating another layout for Calvin Ball. And if you have not heard of Calvin Ball, it's a free online challenge that runs the entire month of March. And I have a link in the description below that you can go to if you want more information and you want to find out what you need to do to join in on this challenge. It's a lot of fun and I think it's a good way to challenge yourself to get into your craft room and work on projects and uh, have some fun trying to accumulate as many points as you can. <laughs> and one of the things I love about Calvin Ball is that uh, you don't have to be in your craft room every single day. So if you have days where you really can't do any crafting, uh, that's okay. You can work on projects as you have the time. And you can do one project in a day. You could do multiple projects in the same day. And so I think it's a fun way to challenge yourself, uh, but not have uh, the pressure of trying to do something every single day. So you'll notice here that it's March the 12th. My last video, I think my last one was uh, using the rules for March the 8th. So I've taken about three or four days off because I had some dental surgery and I wasn't up to being in my craft room or doing any scrapbooking. And so, um, yeah, I took a few days off. <laughs> so it's now March the 12th. And uh, these are the rules for March the 12th. And uh, if you would like more information about how Calvin Ball works and the rules and the points, I did explain some of that in my very first video. So if you want to go back and look at layout number one and watch that video, I do explain that in more detail. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into the rules and I'm going to go down to the permanent rules, the ones that were added since the last time that I actually uh, used this uh, rule list. And so the new things that we have on the list are using spray, mist, or ink splatter. In every one of these rules, you get an extra point if you use, if you use each one of these things. Uh, puffy stickers, a clock, a book, bling, a multi-font title, and also chickens and cows are using a farmhouse style. So those were all new rules that were added. And then if we turn this over, uh, they have the temporary rules here. Some of the rules have been removed, okay? So we're going to go through, and I'm just going to uh, show, point out the ones that were removed. And the first one here that was removed was airplane. It was removed on the 9th. And I'm super disappointed because I had this whole layout planned uh, using an airplane. And uh, I got the idea from the rules, <laughs> but I didn't get my layout finished in time to actually get points for it. But I'm still going to work on that layout. I think it's going to be a fun layout to do, uh, but a little disappointing that that rule went away. <laughs> okay, the other rules that were removed were something holographic, a kangaroo. Uh, the dice was already gone. Uh, selfie was removed. Okay, so that's it. So everything else should still be there. Now, there were some new temporary rules that were added as well. Uh, so we can get points now for a bow, which I love bows, so that's exciting. Chipboard, I love chipboard too. Uh, a tree, a unicorn or a dragon, a speech bubble, coffee, and product from a company lo no longer in business. So those are all the rules and all of the different things that we can get points for. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to help myself out here a little bit and I'm going to start with an unfinished project because I'll automatically get a point for finishing an unfinished project and then some of the work has already been done like it's already I already have a picture selected I have some things cut out and uh, this layout was one that I started last year it was a long time ago because when I was looking at it I couldn't even remember what I was planning to do with it <laughs> so I started out with uh, a picture of my niece and my great niece. So let's see, let me go ahead and pull the pictures and everything out. And I keep all of my unfinished projects and things in these uh, record sleeves that I pick up from Amazon. And I'll have a link in the description below if y'all wanna check these out. But these are super cool to keep your unfinished projects together or to keep collections or other papers together. Okay, so for this layout, I have two pictures. This is a picture of my niece Haley and my great niece Elena. And uh, they were playing with these little dolls in our backyard. And I think these are super cute pictures. And the pictures do look very similar, but they have different expressions in each one of the pictures. I'm not sure I'm going to use both pictures or just one, uh, but I'll figure that out. I'm not really sure why I had the two. I really don't even remember this layout other than the fact that I tried to cut out these little, um, this little border strip. <laughs> and that was quite a challenge. I think that's probably why I quit because um, 
I was really struggling with trying to fussy cut this out and going around all these little lines. And so I'll probably maybe cut these out individually and then maybe use some twine or just draw a string uh, because this was just uh, way too delicate of a piece to try to fussy cut. <laughs> okay, so that was my failed attempt at trying to fussy cut out this uh, uh, border from this paper. And the paper that I was using was from a collection called Photo Play summer daydreams and uh the paper is the flip-flop paper i think the paper is super adorable i also have this little cutout that says lazy summer days i'm pretty sure i fussy cut this out of one of the cut aparts and then i have a circle that i cut out uh with uh, it's like a pink tone on tone with some summer words and that's all i had in there i also had some stickers in here and i'm thinking maybe i thought about using these for my title uh, but that's about as as much as I had in this kit <laughs> or in this in this unfinished uh, scrapbook layout that I had saved. Okay, so I had two different sticker sheets here that were also in that uh, record sleeve. And then when I was uh, deciding that I wanted to work on this project, luckily for me, I had the name of the collection on the paper here. So I was able to know uh, where to go in my craft room. To pull the rest of the paper so i have this whole collection here i have the sticker sheet as well so i'm going to have lots of stuff that i can use to finish off this layout but this is a really cute collection from photo play and uh, i'm probably going to use maybe a white background i'm not exactly sure yet so um but yeah it's some really really colorful fun papers in this collection let's just flip through it just to look at it because i haven't looked at it in a long time that's super cute almost looks like eggs. <laughs> I'm sure it's supposed to be the sun or something, but it reminds me of like fried eggs for some reason. <laughs> okay, and then here is like the sun rays and then some clouds. We have some bubble wands and then some bubbles and then more like polka dots and then this orange paper. Okay, here's some more cut aparts. And on this side is just a bunch of swirly dots. We have some popsicles and then a green tone on tone paper, some watermelon, and then this really pretty pink paper. I might have wanted to pick this one if my circle wasn't already a pink. I don't think that was There's not enough contrast in those two papers, but I think this is a cute paper. Okay, then we also have this one with all the icons. And then there's this stripe paper. That's super cute. We might have to use that one. I think that would be really cute. I might use a combination of this stripe paper and a white cardstock. Okay, then we have this one, which I'm assuming is going to be the cut apart because there's something cut out of it. And uh, those are really cute. <laughs> okay, and then here's the paper that I cut the circle from. Okay. And then here is the sticker sheet. And I think after I cut out that entire border uh, strip, I realized that there was a sticker in here that had the flip-flops. <laughs> I think I got a little bit frustrated with uh, fussy cutting that out. Um, and I, I remember this now because I was at a friend's house scrapbooking. And I think it was in 2019. So it wasn't even last year. It was the year before. And I was at her house, I was at Judy's house, I remember that now, trying to fussy cut that out. And then later realizing that there was a sticker I could use. <laughs> so sometimes that happens. You just don't notice things when you're chatting with other people and visiting and talking. Uh, sometimes you don't always, you know, notice things. Okay, so let me share with y'all the other things that I'm thinking about bringing in to finish this layout. And uh, talk a little bit about... Uh, what I can get points for here as well because part of the goal here is to get as many points as I can for this layout. Okay, so I have some die cut ephemera pieces here and if I use that I'll get a point. And this is not from the same collection. This is from Echo Park Summer Party. But I thought the colors were really similar and so I think that I could probably pull something from here to use on this layout. I also have these uh, dots. These are also Echo Park. It's from a, a collection called I Love Spring. But I think the colors really go well with the colors in this paper. Okay, then we have a sticker book here. This is from Recollections. This is from Michaels. And it's just a whole bunch of little stickers. And they're all summer themed. And so I thought maybe 
I might uh, use some of those. And so we'll have to kind of go through that and see what all is available, if anything would fit on this layout. I also have a pack of Brad's. This is from a collection called Best Summer Ever, also from Echo Park. A lot of my Echo Park uh, items that I purchased, I got from the warehouse boxes that they have, the mystery boxes. Those are so much fun, but I have so much Echo Park and Cartabella stuff now. I don't know that I would buy that anymore, but if you don't have those, uh, if you don't have a lot of Echo Park and Cartabella, those warehouse boxes are a super awesome deal. And you can get some really cool stuff in there, like enamel dots and brads and whole collection kits. It's awesome. <laughs> so I have these uh, brads. Okay, then I also have... This set of stickers from Firefly, and uh, this was actually not $5.99. It Well, it was, but it was three sets of stickers, and not just this one sticker. <laughs> this was from Tuesday Mornings, and I just thought these were cute, and I thought maybe um, that might uh, work on this layout. And then I have some Project Life chipboard that I could use, and if I use a chipboard, I would get a point. And I thought the colors went really well with this as well. And I um, also can get a point for using a frame. I can use get a point for using an arrow So there's a, and for using a heart. So there's a lot on here uh, that if I use some of this, I would get a lots of points for that as well. So I'm not going to try to um, do anything really crazy to get more points. I'm just going to try to, um, you know, embellish the layout and finish the layout in a way that will get me the most points possible, but still creating a layout that I'm really going to love. Okay, so y'all know I can't screw up and talk at the same time. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will uh, get my uh, background completed, my photos matted, uh, maybe the title, and uh, I'll come back in the middle and talk about what I've done. And then I will do uh, the embellishing and finishing the layout, and then I'll come back again and share with you my final layout. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made some progress on this layout and I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I have so far. And I decided instead of using a white cardstock that I would bring in a white wood grain. And so I knew I had white wood grain and because I've been organizing my paper, I knew right where to go to get it. So that was super exciting. And I keep paper by category in a flip bin that I can flip through that I have dividers and it's divided by categories like backgrounds and wood grains and uh, patterns like chevrons and polka dots. And it really does come in handy when you're doing a challenge, when you're looking for a specific type of paper, or if you just want a certain look and feel and you don't have to go around to your, your entire uh, paper stash in your craft room looking for a paper to use for your layout. So that was super cool that I was able to find this white wood grain. And it reminds me of the beach and, uh, I also took a piece of this uh, stripe paper, it's five inches, and I put that across kind of toward the bottom. I did uh, put my circle here, and then I just chopped off a little bit of it. I always find that it helps when you're creating a layout with a circle. If you uh, put a little bit of it over the edge, it kind of grounds it to the layout. And I just like the look of having the circle kind of chopped off there. <laughs> Okay, I decided to go ahead and not really worry about this uh, fussy cutting piece that I used. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll do with this, but um, I might use it on another layout. I might, I'm not sure. I'll just keep it with the rest of the kit and I'll find some use for it. But I went ahead and just used a sticker because it was just easier. <laughs> okay, and then the sticker was not a full 12 inches. And so instead of trying to make it go across the entire 12 inches, and making it look like it was, uh, you know, it didn't really fit the paper. I went ahead and just uh, put this kind of off the side and then chop that off. And I think I'm going to just build a little cluster over here at the top corner of my layout. This kind of a strategic thing that I did, putting the edge of it over on this side because my title is over here and I knew that if I was gonna build a cluster, it would be really close to where the title was. And so I just decided that I would make one cluster here, maybe another one here, and then a third one over here by the pictures, and that would create my triangle. Okay, so I was looking through my stash of letters. I did try out the uh, sticker sheet that I had, but the letters were kind of small, 
And so I did try these uh, aqua letters, but it just really didn't have the impact that I was looking for. And so I went into my stash and I didn't really have a lot of uh, thickers that had bright, fun colors. And uh, I was going to give up and, you know, just maybe try something else. I was thinking about maybe cutting some letters with my Cricut. And then I was thinking, well, if I was going to cut letters with my Cricut, what color paper would I use? And I thought it would be fun to use this really bright green. And as soon as I thought about using that bright green, I remembered that I had these foam thickers in my stash that are super bright green. And uh, these are called Fantastic. I don't really know what the collection is for this one, but this is a really cool font. And I love the color, and I think it goes really well with this layout. It stands out really well on this pink. And so I decided instead of trying to go around the outside of the circle with my title, I would use the inside of the circle. And then I'm planning to put this, uh, the rest of my title down here underneath the pictures once I figure out where my pictures are going to be uh, located. Okay, so the title I came up with is called Summer Dolls. I thought that was super cute because they got new dolls and so they were playing with their dolls in the backyard and then I think they're little dolls. <laughs> so it could be either the dolls that we were talking about or my two nieces. <laughs> okay, so I thought that title was super cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish working on this layout and do some more embellishing and then I'll come back and share with you the finished layout. Okay, so I finished this layout and I did add a lot of embellishments, but I think it really suits the look and feel that I was going for. And uh, it did turn out a little bit different than I was expecting it to. And I think that's partly because of the thickers that I chose to use. When I pulled in these lime green thickers uh, for my title, and then I started adding that color in other places, it really gave a completely different look to this layout than what I was originally planning. <laughs> but I think that it turned out really cute and I love the bright pop of color. And uh, so I did bring in uh, other things with this lime green. I have a kiwi here. I also matted my pictures with that green paper. I used some enamel dots that were this lime green color. I have a brad, also a flare button and uh, some washi tape. So I think by bringing that color into the layout in different places, it really made my title uh, fit into what I was doing here with the design. Okay, so let's talk a little bit first about what I ended up not using for this layout, because uh, I think it might be interesting if y'all kind of see my choices and what I ended up doing. <laughs> okay, so I ended up not using anything from the Echo Park Summer Party uh, because I, I found that once I started going through here, it really didn't have the same colors, especially when I brought in that bright green. And so I didn't find anything in here. I was not really looking for a frame and there wasn't really a frame in here that went. There was a floral frame and then this one with the, uh, it's like a blue, almost look like a sky background. So that definitely didn't fit the look and feel I was going for. Okay, so I also had uh, these uh, Project Life chipboard pieces, and I really love this orange frame. I thought the color went really well, but it was, uh, I think the polka dots was just a little bit too much. And then these other pieces, uh, they just didn't really feel like they went with the layout, so ended up not using that. Although this arrow would have been really cool, I think that all of the colors in the arrow were in the layout. I just couldn't figure out a good place to put it. And so it ended up not going on there, but that would have been really cute. Okay, I did flip through the thicker this sticker book, uh, but I did not find anything in here that uh, I felt would go on the layout that would give me additional points. And so I decided not to bring in any of these stickers, although they're super cute. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing that I have here was some more Project Life uh, chipboard stickers, and uh, there wasn't really anything on here either. I was able to bring in a heart as a puffy sticker, so I didn't need any of the hearts here. And uh, so I ended up not using this as well. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what I did get points for. And I'll bring over the score sheet here. So I went ahead and added up my score. And on the first page, I have 22 points. And that's amazing. So I'm going to get uh, a point for using a star, which I used this little chipboard piece. So I'm actually going to get two points for using this star, one point for using chipboard, 
one point for using a star and that came from this pack of uh, chipboard stickers it's from Pink Paisley and it's from the Hey Cake collection and uh, these are super adorable and it's the first time I actually used anything from here and I just love uh, the shininess of these uh, pieces I think they're really cool I'll take them out of the package so y'all can see them aren't those super neat I just love how shiny those are <laughs> they're like glossy <laughs> Okay, so I've used a, just a star from that one. Okay, from this pack of uh, frames and tags, this came from Echo Park I Love Crafting, which is totally not a summer collection. Uh, but when I was looking through my ephemera, because I wanted to make sure I used a die cut, I wanted to use a frame. And so as I was looking through all of my ephemera, I noticed that this uh, particular pack of die cuts has this orange frame. And so I was able to bring in the orange frame. I have half of the frame over here on this side of this picture. The other half is over here on uh, this side of the picture. I love doing that with frames. You cut them in half and you can use them in multiple places and tuck them uh, in and kind of use them as a layering piece. And I think that's really a lot of fun. Okay, I also did bring in some washi tape. I just wanted to give this a little bit more of a finished look. And I thought that it would be kind of cool to bring this green color over here to this side of my layout. So I used this green washi. And when I first laid the washi down, you could still see the wood grain or the stripes under it. And so I decided to put it onto some white cardstock and then just cut it out with my trimmer and glued it on there. So that's why it looks a little bit more solid than if I would have just used the washi uh, without doing anything else to it. Okay, I did manage to get in a puffy sticker. So from this set of puffy stickers from Amy Tangerine, I think this is from Picnic in the Park. I found a little strawberry. And uh, so I have a little strawberry up here that I added to the kiwi. And so I think that's really super cute. Um, I'm not really sure if I got this. I think I got this girl's rule from another set of puppy stickers. Uh, but I don't remember because I, I forgot to keep the pack out. So... I did use another puffy sticker here that's a heart, so I'll get a point for using a heart and also for using a puffy sticker. Okay, so I did use enamel dots. I used a yellow and orange from this pack, and then I got out my green enamel dots, and I found uh, these really bright lime green enamel dots, and I used a few of those as well. Okay, and then uh, some of the other things that I wanted to bring in was metal. I also wanted to bring in vellum because bringing in vellum would give me a point and bringing in metal is another point. And so I found this pack of uh, tags with vellum. This is from a Chamel collection. I think this is from the, uh, what is that collection called? The little something, I think. <laughs> I can't remember and it's not listed on here. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, I just took one of these little pieces here and I layered it behind my picture and it just says hello and I thought that was really cute. I do have a banner here with the good times which also gives me a point and I think it's kind of cool when you're putting on word stickers that you can kind of make your layout um, have all of this, these different messages and you can actually read the layout sometimes and it's really a lot of fun. So this layout says love this hello good times enjoy keeping it cool and then summer dolls and then this says summer rules <laughs> and then we have summer hello sunshine and summer fun over here and then girls rule over here <laughs> so super fun <laughs> okay so um for the metal i did have this metal brad i also had this metal flare button and the flare button not only has the colors that i wanted but it also has an arrow so I can get a point for having an arrow on my layout. <laughs> okay, so I did bring in a flower. This is a puffy flower. It did come from this pack of uh, three-dimensional stickers from Firefly. And I picked this one because I like the pop of green in the leaves. It matched the pinks in the paper, and it has a gem. And so because I use bling, <laughs> I get another point. So for that one flower, I get uh, two points. One for having bling and one for the flower. Okay, and then the brad that I used was from this pack of brads. This is from Echo Park, Best Summer Ever. And I used the brad here. And it says, Hello Sunshine. And then I did use a piece of uh, 
chipboard from here as well. And I pulled this one that says Summer Rules. And I will get two points for that one as well for using a piece of chipboard and also for using a speech bubble because that's a speech bubble. <laughs> so uh, that was pretty cool that I found that one as well. Okay, and then I did use um, some wood veneer. Uh, this is a wood veneer uh, set of flowers. And so I found one that was in the green color and I put it down here and then I added a little enamel dot on top. And I've used also some of the stickers from uh, the sticker sheet. So I did use the flip-flop banners. Uh, I was thinking about using that arrow, but that arrow did not end up on my layout. And I put it on top of the picture here, and then I damaged the arrow trying to get it off. <laughs> so it's probably going to go in the trash, but I think it said, let's see, it said um, fun stuff this way. I don't know. There was just something about the color it just wasn't vibing with the layout, so it didn't make it on there. Actually, it's not too bad, so I might be able to stick it back onto the sticker sheet. I did bend it up a little bit, but it might be okay. See if we can make it go back on there. <laughs> okay, here's where I got my banner, and then uh, let's see what else. Oh, I did use a tag, and this was a pink tag that had an orange... Um, what do you call that? Hole reinforcer. It was already there, and I used a label up here. I used my own handwriting and I dated my layout. So that's also additional points that you can get. And then I did tidy my space before I started. <laughs> so uh, that's a rule down here that you can actually uh, tidy your space uh, and get uh, right here, tidy your space. So let's see, uh, did I leave anything out? <laughs> I think that was a lot. Okay, so, um, okay, I did use three pattern papers. And I think I mentioned everything else. Oh, and I had colors. I used both both of the colors, which was green and pink. I used a star. And uh, yeah, I think I uh, pretty much used a lot of stuff that was on here. So on the back here, I did finish an unfinished project. I also fussy cut because I fussy cut out this little piece right here. Okay, and then um, I used metal and a frame a piece of chipboard, and a speech bubble. Okay, so if I uh, added up all of the points for my rules that I uh, did for this layout, I got 29 points. Now, creating this video gives me a point. Creating a blog post gives me an additional point, and sharing my layout on social media in places like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and the gallery, the uh, Scrap Happy Circle Gallery, I will get an additional three points and that brings this layout to 34 points. <laughs> so one of the other things that's super exciting about Calvin Ball is that the longer that the process goes on, the more rules that they add and the higher the score is that you can get for each one of your projects. So I think that's really makes it a lot of fun to see how high of a score you can actually get for each layout that you do. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to uh, the camera so that y'all can get a close-up of the layout and everything I did here. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. I will put some still pictures with close-ups at the end. I also have a short video clip of my two dogs Bella and Lily Bell that I will put at the very end of the video if you want to stick around for that. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a like because it helps me to know what types of videos y'all like to watch. It also helps YouTube to know what videos to recommend to other viewers. And if you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Okay, so that's all I have. Y'all take care. Hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you next time. Bye now.
Hi, Miss Bella. Why are you all wet? <laughs> Were you outside? It was raining. Were you in the rain? You're all wet. <laughs> so she wanted me to come in the kitchen. Was there something you wanted to tell me, Miss Miss Bella? Was there something you wanted to ask me for? I know. <laughs> well, you have to ask. Can you ask me? Did you want to say hi to the YouTube people? <laughs> you want to say hi? Are you having fun outside in the yard in the rain? <laughs> Is it time for snacks? Is it snack time? <laughs> you got nothing to say for yourself? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What does that mean, Miss B? Are you going to talk to me? No? You're just going to whine? <laughs> You're just going to be whiny? <laughs> can you speak? Miss Bella, can you speak? No? But you can down? You're going to pout? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna pout, Miss B? You are. Is Mama being mean to you? <laughs> Miss Lily Bell, what you doing, Miss Lily Bell? Are you wet too? You're wet too. What were y'all doing out there in the rain? <laughs> y'all are all wet. Well, it's a good thing y'all need a bath. I would be upset if y'all did that when I just gave you a bath. <laughs> I guess I'll have to give you a bath tomorrow if it's not raining. Because mm -hmm. you look a mess. I know. Yep. <laughs> you look a mess too, Miss Lily Bell. You both look like you're a mess. And look, Miss Bella's over here pouting again. She's pouting. <laughs> so what have you girls been up to, huh? What you been up to? Is it treat time? Is it time for treats? Is it time for treats? Nobody's talking tonight. Y'all are being awfully quiet. <laughs> okay, I guess I can give y'all a treat. Okay, you ready for your treat? Okay, down. Lily Bell, down. <laughs> Back up, sweetie. Back up. Okay. Are y'all ready for your treat? Can you sit? Down. Good job. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Okay, well, that's all we have for tonight. Hope y'all have an awesome day and hope to see you next time. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>